Water is a human right. Uh, it's necessary for life. Forty to forty percent of Detroiters live in poverty. The per capita income in the city of Detroit under twenty thousand dollars. Water department shutoff policy is uncompromising, and it include homes that include uh, families with infant children, elders, and others that have been shut off. We are an eighty-three percent African American city that is being disenfranchised by this water situation. The assistance programs such as WAVE and THAW and other organizations are not at capacity to handle 90,000 to 120,000 citizens in the city of Detroit that are in dire need. Governor Snyder is the first sitting U.S. governor in the history of the United States of America to get a sitting citation from the United Nations. He broke the United States Treaty, which we signed with all the world in July of 2002, that declares water is a basic human right. That's right, that's right. The biggest tourist destinations in the city of Detroit, the biggest destinations like Comerica Park, which owes over uh, $60,000, Ford Field owes $55,000. And the city of Detroit golf course that is not even open to the public is $430,000. The VA hospital, which owes $131,000. When are they going to pay their bills? Mike Illich, pay your bills. <laughs> pay your bills. Imagine, imagine with me for a second Imagine someone using water as a form of weapon Now I don't mean like when God says rain and it pours And it's monsoon tsunamis, hurricanes and it storms I mean when someone comes draining your souls And then someone proclaims that it's saving the poor Now imagine you're afraid of the war So to come if you didn't give that savior applause So you're dying of hurt, you're dying of thirst And the death affects nothing but the sky and the dirt I said you're dying of hurt, you're dying the thirst, and it changes not a thing but the sky and the dirt Cause then Trouble over the water, trouble over the water Oh, Craig, we're talking about thousands of people and the number growing every day. Here's why. Because the water department is continuing to shut off water to those who have these huge outstanding bills. Again, to be very clear, we're talking about people who owe thousands of dollars, who've ignored the bill for months. Some of these people have a desperate need. They simply cannot afford to pay the bill. They need help from state agencies, like you mentioned, DHS. But there are other people, and this is where it gets controversial, who simply don't want to pay the water bill, who'd rather spend money on cable. And that's uh, where this whole debate, you know, comes together, is you've got people who can't afford to do it, yeah. others who are ignoring it, and at the end of the day, many believe it's a human rights issue. What's at stake for, for some of these folks if the city of Detroit does not do anything? How serious is a potential health hazard in, in this crisis? Before I answer that, let me say shame on Hank. Shame on him. For, ex for for putting that lie and that miss and that disinformation what, what, out what, on the air Murray, to suggest that Murray, people don't lie? want to pay for a water bill is scandalous. What is at stake here, Maureen, young you man? you don't believe that there are people who don't want to pay the bill? I'm hang, answering hang on, the question. I'm answering the question. Ahead, what Murray. is at stake here is that there are tens of thousands of low-income families 
who cannot pay rising water bill costs. The cost of living is going up, the chances of living are going down, and we got these reporters out here like this guy that's just standing on the side of people that have money. Yes, there are bills that are being contested, but what we're talking about is two months being behind, $150 or more is what you owe, but the same kind of situation and the same kind of threat is not being made to these folks that are rich, golf courses. You know what, I, and, Marina, and, and I'm glad you brought that is it what not a dollar? Um, Marine, this is an outrage what I hear here this morning. Maureen, I'm glad you did bring that part up because while residents have been shut off, Joe Louis Arena, where the Detroit Red Wings, where the hockey team yes. plays, they owe a little bit more than $82,000, I understand, in water bills. The Detroit Lions Stadium Ford Field owes more than $55,000. Yes. Golf courses, as you just mentioned, owned by the city of Detroit, owe more than $400,000. They're the, not being threatened the, with shut off. The state of Michigan, They're not being biggest told bill, that your uh, service is going $5 to be cut million off. Dollars for water at state fairgrounds, uh, as I understand it. Hank, I know you were... Trouble over the water, trouble over the water. Trouble over the water, trouble over the water. This trouble over the water, trouble over the water. This trouble over the water, trouble over the water. Imagine, imagine with me for a minute. Imagine there's no wind to be for the children and women. Traveling miles for a shower, sun up to sundown. Coming back with just a smile, cause the pumps are shut down. Can't get a thing from what's under the ground. No one taught you to dance for a thunderous cloud. You pray strong for a rainstorm, maybe it stays long. It feels good, but something tastes wrong. Can't figure out what's eating at you either. Begging for help or a sign, a good dream of you. Can't figure out what's eating at you either. Begging for